someone's wagon says a lot about them. Like the items that are in the wagon. I'm feeling like I don't have enough art. I totally need a new rug. This is a good start. Oh, on a mission. Let's look for pillows. I die for this table. So soft. It looks soft. It's like, this is hard. I will end you with a horror story. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I finally feel like my muscles are not sore. <laughs> Today, which means it's been, uh, we finished the beams on Saturday. So it's been Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is day six from finally finishing every, all the pieces from painting around the edges and everything. So took me five days, five full days to recover because I could still kind of feel it yesterday. We are very much in decorating phase. Went ahead and pulled out after we went to the flea market on Sunday, which is the last vlog that you guys saw. I went ahead and pulled out all the art that I had. Gallery wall, things. This, yet. Yeah. Sometimes I go through my stuff and I'm like, oh, this, I get so excited again. I also was <laughs> walking in the flea market because it actually got, really calming you know like everyone started to leave people were the workers were just like kind of like the booth the owners were just kind of like packing up and stuff and i was just browsing romeo was carrying the wagging kind of like a few booths behind her in front of me and i was just walking and i was looking at people's wagons i love to look at the things like in people's wagons i don't know <laughs> i want to see what they buy i feel like someone's wagon says a lot about them like the items that are in the wagon, like that they're buying. And then I thought, I'm like, and I walked a little further and I was like, huh, I wonder what people think about me and my, the stuff in my wagon. You know, and I turned around and Romeo was right there by me and I turned around and I looked and I was like, wow, yeah, this girl just buys a whole lot of frames. <laughs> you know, like frames, frames are bases. Like, it's just interesting. I don't know, that's a thought I had. So this one is pretty, I don't, did I really pay $60 for this? No. Never go off of what the price says on it. Okay, that's a for sure yes. I like this one. This is a definite yes. Whether she stays in this frame or not, I don't know. But my mom painted me this. This is an oil painting of Kinsley. <laughs> come see, come see, come, come show everybody how cute you are. Look at this. Like, how much cuter can you get? Even like the way that she turns to the side and looks. Oh. Um, now that it's pretty dry, I think my, when my mom comes, she's gonna put um, some uh, antiquing gel over it to kind of subtle the, the blue. Or maybe I can call her, I don't wanna mess it up. I need to call her and ask her what she, like maybe she can walk me through it. I'm sure it's just over the top of it, but she's been cured for a long time now. She painted this when we did the gallery wall in the breakfast nook, and that was before the pandemic. So. It's been a while. So this I definitely want in the gallery wall. I think that, that would be so cool. I've been looking for a really good place for her. I have pretty frames, but we would have to get some things printed. Like this one's gorgeous, but like we need art to go in them, you know? I'm gonna pull out the pieces that we have art for already and we can kind of fill in. I love this one. My mom painted this one. This is gorgeous. We need to see scale too, so I'm gonna bring this one. You know, kind of like smaller pieces, and I want a lot of them. That's why I've been like looking for like teeny tiny art or like <laughs> teeny tiny art, <laughs> teeny tiny, teeny tiny art. It's hard to find. I actually have two of these more round ones. Um, this is the prettier of the two, the one that I thought that I would keep. Everything looks good on this wall color. Here's my mom's. We have a lot of spaces to fill over here. Kind of small. We need a lamps over there. I mean, you'll, you'll, I just want to kind of start bringing stuff down, like figure out like what's going to work where. I'm feeling like over there it needs to be smaller, like even smaller than this, like together. Because I think that one stuck out a little too far, like its frame is really built out. So it needs to be somewhere where you don't walk, you know, by. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm feeling like I don't have enough art. We may have a problem. This may be a 
curated over, well, of course, everything that I do is curated over time. But this may be a curated over time gallery wall because I'm looking at the, the, so, the sheer size of this and I'm thinking, like I kind of was like trying to like count in my head. I'm like, okay, if everything ranges in the medium to, you know, small, medium kind of range, I'm gonna need at least like 15 to 20 pieces. You know, like, and I'm like, this is all I have. I have a few more pieces I've pulled out. Of course, I have my new pieces. You know, like this hunting dog, gorgeous. This one <laughs> by Frank Pimfold. Oh, love this. I originally didn't want to put this one in the gallery. I wanted this one to sit alone. Um, and then, you know, like maybe, because obviously we have more walls than just the gallery. If I put everything in the gallery, we're not gonna be able to fill anything else. I'm trying to think if I like this light on these walls. You know, like they wouldn't go here, but for instance, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. You know what I mean? I can start laying them out, kind of like starting with my favorite, like right in the middle, like <laughs> kids lay <laughs> right in the middle. I also pulled this, these two from the the house around. I had this one over my desk. Just I found a nail on the in between the window panes, and I hung something because I thought it was pretty. And then this one's a fairly new one that I got recently too. It has, they have more green kind of in them. So we've got these. I also have um, Deep in Bloom that my mom painted that's on like a darker, the darker side, the darker of the frames. This one is new. This one's darker. And I also don't want them all to be like flowers. You know, I kind of want to mix. These frames look good together. Hi, baby. <laughs> I like this. This this dark with the light beige is pretty. Like I feel like it brightened the dark up a lot. Beep, beep, beep. And so you're too blue in this picture. You definitely need to be like antiqued. It's like the logic is to kind of balance the colors. You see how I've got three golds over here? Well, that's too many. Like I need to kind of put a gold over here. Let's switch these. I've got two linen frames here, so what if I switch these two? Kind of lightens it over here, which is nice. So that's the wider balance. This is a good start, you guys. This is giving me like a look inside of, okay, what do I actually have that can work? And I have one more gold frame too that's chunky. It's empty. So once I pulled everything out, I realized that I had some frames that I didn't have art for, which I knew that, but I really needed, I needed more art than I had. So I ordered some yesterday from the Stack House. Love them. I will leave their website linked. It's where I get all of my art prints for my digital downloads of my mom's um, and then also other art that I like. I always print them with them. So I've got to run back to the hardware store to get some stair detail wood things. Um, and I already ordered the brackets. They're gonna be coming tomorrow. I ordered the art, which is gonna to come tomorrow. Everything's gonna to kind of come tomorrow. So we're gonna to run to Blick Art Store. Uh, because they have mats and I have a couple of pieces of art, really um, postcard-esque art that I got when we were uh, in Paris and I wanna frame them, but they are too small because they're like four by six. I think the largest one I have is like a five by seven. Okay, got a little bit ready. Okay, let me show you something exciting uh, outside, hold on. Let me get my smiley face slippers. I ruined my other slides that I used to go outside. I'm gonna order some more, but I, where did they go actually? I'm going back in the bathroom twice for things that I forgot. Oh yeah, they're here, <laughs> right here. You coming? Okay, she's already out, she's gone. First of all, look how amazing the pool looks. I know, I've been taking such good care of it. <laughs> Every morning I come out and do the leaves uh, most of the time, like every other, every two days or three days, I'll kind of blow off the sides as well. I turn Henry on, you know, oh, a leaf. It's inevitable, but she looks so much better. 
ready for summer. Yesterday was the first day of summer. If you guys were curious to what color our, almost said petunia, but not petunia, agapanthus. <laughs> if you were wondering what color they were gonna be, they are blue. They are totally blue. Look at this. <gasps> so pretty. I was actually hoping that they would be white, but it doesn't surprise me that they are blue because we have such an eclectic mix of flowers and colors here at the house and just, this is, I think this is the last flower was, it was new. Like I, I just didn't know what it was going to be. Um, so they're blue. They're actually all over in the front yard too, which is incredible. Um, and then they're over here too. These haven't bloomed yet, but they're so tall. Like they're so cool. Like they've gotten a lot taller since the last time I showed you guys. Look at these. <gasps> here, here. Here, here, there. Okay, we made it to Blick. Um, I forgot to take a picture of the the one that I'm trying to like match. Like the mat, it's fine. It's just like a kind of like an off-white mat. Um, and they have really good like mats here that you can buy. Mats are not cheap though, so I'm bracing myself before I go in. See, like you can actually have your art framed here. They have actually really pretty frames. Like, look how pretty. All the mats that you can think of. Like, everything you can think of. But we just want the board itself, so. See, they have, like, big sheets and all the colors. See, this is, like, a pretty off one. A lot bigger than I thought it was. This is why I love our neighborhood. We passed two little boys with a lemonade stand. It's so cute. Air fresheners. He made, oh, I thought he gave you a receipt. He gave you an air freshener. No, there's like different like scents. Oh, this smells wonderful. Look, smell that. This is the watermelon scent. Oh my God, that's so cute. I know, there's like watermelon, cotton candy. <laughs> Probably like smeller, smell good um, markers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is good. He said, they said that we were their second customer of the day. Oh. <laughs> so guys, it's the next day. I totally need a new rug for the living room. I just, it's not working. It's like too icy or too, it's too something. Romeo feels the exact same way. So we're on a mission. We're gonna go look for some throw pillows, some like a, like a blanket, like a throw blanket. Um, and then rugs. So right now we're at, our hogs. We're gonna go see what they've got because this location just opened. You can't buy any of their furniture in the store and take it away with you, but oh. Oh. So pretty. <gasps> this is so pretty. Yeah. No. Yeah, and no, we're not getting a rug from here. It's so expensive. This is so pretty. I love the like natural. This is so pretty. <gasps> we're not going up the stairs, we're going up the elevator. Oh my God, look how pretty this is in the elevator. This couch is so pretty. See, people, <gasps> it's like stone. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's expensive, huh? How much? <gasps> On a mission, let's look for pillows. Um, I need to bring in some sort of like, not beige. Oh, the light in here is gorgeous. Look at this chest set. <gasps> I have my chest set I need to put out. You know what I think would be really pretty? on the couch just in the middle since we have the two pillows that came with it would be just like a lumbar i think that would be kind of like gorgeous i have these but in square in texas i really like them but they're very subtle you know i, was, I want like a velvet lumbar that bed but in a lumbar pillow like i feel like this is a pretty pretty color like i want this one but in lumbar oh my gosh look how gorgeous this is <gasps> Look at all that trim work. Oh my god. That is, this is gorgeous. This is stunning. Look at this table. I'd die for this table. <gasps> 
And this. <gasps> one of a kind. Yeah, it's like vintage. <laughs> of course. Of course I like the one vintage thing in here. This pattern is really pretty. Oh, I was thinking about getting like a fire element for outside. Yeah. That would be cute, right? Like not, like I think round. This is actually a really pretty rug. It's like, no. <laughs> We're at Crate and Barrel. I was just like, I just don't want to pay that. I like the warmth in it too, but it's like charcoal. It's really pretty, but I don't love it, but it's nice. I did get some of these pretty taper candles. I thought this like, kind of like pale cornflower blue was pretty. I thought that these slate color, like purple undertone were pretty. And these are called black, but they look kind of like the black brown. I thought they were really pretty. I got a couple. No look at those two places. I knew that they wouldn't stock rugs though at our house and Crate and Barrel, um, but they were like right next to each other. So we went and took a look. Now we are going to Home Goods and World Market. I'm thinking maybe a size, I don't think I say this right. Sisal, Cecil, Sisal, Sisal rug. Uh, you know, like more of the rope, like more outdoor, like te heavy textured rugs. Thinking maybe that could be interesting if it's the right kind. And I know World Market has like a bunch of different kinds. Do you see yourself sitting in the living room? The, the front one? Why wouldn't you? Oh, you're gonna sit in there? Probably take a nap in there. Oh, you're gonna take a nap in there? Sudoku in there. You're gonna play Sudoku. Sudoku. Ooh, newspaper, LA Times. Oh, oh, you're gonna get the newspaper now too. Mm -hmm. so oh. I feel <laughs> you did used to play it. That's fun. Okay, the mission continues. Let's see what they've got. I mean, I know that they have. I think that they're gonna be a little small, but let's see. We actually had this rug before in our living room. It got so dirty. I knew that would happen eventually. I actually kind of like this rug, but it, I don't like the tassels. I just feel like it's too much of like an outdoor. <laughs> like it's not the same. I saw a picture of a rug that was like sisal that was like more diamond shaped and it had like some style to it instead of just being like all, you know, the same basket weave. And this one, ha right? You don't like this one. It has too much like color. Yeah, it's the, not the vibe. No, it looks no. like a little bit, um, like it'd be like great, like in like a, like a little girl's room, you know, like it's just like not it. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to like press this, but cross your fingers that there's something that I just like have to have here. It's kind of looking promising. I just don't want icy. No icy. Like this is still icy, 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 but much better pricing. This is like really golden. 7 by 10, so like 8 by 10. Two gold? Yeah. Okay. Literally, what it was just open to. Oh, it's like They're, it's crying. Uh, yeah. No blue. No. no. Oh, but so soft. It looks soft. Oh my god, but no. That's too big. Yeah, we need an 8 by 10. This is a 9 by 12. Why are they all crying? Get them a tissue. <laughs> I thought you cracked me up. <laughs> what size do we have right now at home? Eight by ten. Okay. What I got was in the store. It was it was pretty, but it was I could tell it was icy. But when it got home, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like really icy. Mm -hmm. 
It's not looking good. I'm gonna have to go to a rug store. I've been to rug stores. I got so lucky when I found that diamond shaped one from upstairs. What if I move the diamond shaped one downstairs? Hmm. You're on to something. It's like, could it be cool? Diamond one upstairs looks so good in that room though. Yeah, but the diamond one is like really pretty. We'll look at it. We'll go look for rugs too this weekend. At the Santa Monica Flea, maybe. Home Goods is still coming through with the pillows. Like, there's so many that I've kind of like gone back neutral because I'm worried about having really patterned pillows and a, you know, Persian or Turkish rug. Um, it's like I need like calm, but I want there to be warm. Like, I would love to find like dark, dark chocolate. Like, this is more of like a caramel color, and I want like chocolate some kind of contrast so that it's not just like all neutral. I showed Romeo the pillows and he was like, wow, this is hard. So like, my job's hard, right? Yeah. But I'm not like, good at design. This is hard to find rugs and pillows and things. Hello guys, it's totally the next day. I have been working on the front room all day. Um, I have gone through since I really, my body really wasn't back to normal until like Thursday evening, Friday. I haven't had a lot of time to like process the ideas I have for decorating and like the gallery wall and stuff. I've made a lot of progress today, but today is Saturday. Yesterday, I kind of felt really defeated trying to find a rug and not being able to find anything. And then I really needed to get the rest of the elements in the room. I'm also making dinner. Um, Need to peel some carrots, I think. It, it's it's actually coming together even more beautiful than I had imagined, you know? Like that's all the, I got to do all of the, the pretty details today, you know? Like we spent so many weeks working on the foundational elements of this room. Um, I made a lot of progress, but there is another DIY that I've determined that I definitely want to do. Um, so, and today's Saturday, and it's like Saturday at 6.20 p.m. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to be able to accomplish a DIY by tomorrow, which is Sunday. So I'm going to swap this video with that one. So this vlog, which would have been live on Tuesday, you will actually see Sunday. And then you'll see the final renovation video of the front room on Tuesday. You guys, it's coming along so well. Like, whoa. Like it's unlike anything I've really created before. Although the cottage is beautiful. This is like my style, obviously. The, like the cottage has more of an antique um, century old vibe. This house takes the same idea and the same style. She's like the elevated younger sister since this house isn't quite as old as that one. Our cottage in Texas is 112 years old now. It was built in 1910. This house was built in the 30s. So she's the 20 year younger sister. She's a little bit elevated. The younger sister that always shows up to the party like well-dressed. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what this house is. She's coming along. She's she's doing her things. Uh, we're still trying to give her that, wow, you showed up well-dressed, but little did they know we didn't spend a lot of money for it. Kind of vibe. I am making us some dinner. I've just been a little bit slower after those beams. Those beams killed me. You guys, like for real. The room would not have the same effect right now. And when you guys see it on Tuesday, I hope you love it as much as I do um, because it just would not have the same effect without the beams, without the arches, uh, without the warmth, the colors, like all of it is really coming together and looking like really excellent. So make Romeo and I some dinner. He actually ran uh, to the store because we didn't have any butter for our, I told him we could just substitute oil, but I know it's not the same, but still. Um, so he ran to get some butter. I am going to edit up this vlog tonight so that you guys can see it because even if I wasn't to do that other DIY project and spend a few more days on it, I would still be looking at like a seven hour edit tonight. <laughs> That, my main channel videos take uh, quite a lot out of me. Uh, they take a little more time because I'm like, oh, I want the music and I want the, you know, the vibe and the pace and the, 
is a lot that goes through my mind when I do a, a renovation video. My vlogs too, obviously, but my vlogs, I'm looking at a, you know, a two and a half hour edit tonight uh, versus, you know, the seven. So I think this is where we're at. I will end you with a horror story. And it's been a week and a half now, so I feel better about it. Um, and everything is okay now. Well, everything was okay always, but we had a scary situation. Kinsley loves to go outside. Um, I let her out. She runs around the pool. She is little enough to squeeze through the gate bars to go up to the secret garden where I have, you know, the, the outdoor table and stuff. And that secret garden up there, I noticed since we've been living here that there's some breaches in the fence, big enough so that she could fit through. So she goes up into that garden. She loves to go up there and sniff around. And I was on the FaceTime with my mom the other day and I was like, hold on. I was like, hold on mom, let me go get Kinsley because I don't like that she goes up there because if she can fit through the, the fence, then she can go into other people's yards. And what if, you know what I mean? Like, what if I can't get her back and can't find her? It just gets lost. So I go out, I knew she was up there. I was like, Kinsley, Kinsley. I go up there, I walk up the steps to the secret garden and there is a coyote about two foot from Kinsley's back. She's turned around. She didn't even hear him. That's how quiet they are. I have never been that close to a coyote before in my life. I was dealing with not only my mama bear coming out and like I grabbed Kinsley so quick and but just me by going up there started it. So it kind of like, you know, coyotes don't like to be around people. They're not gonna choose to. So she, they kind of like, kind of jumped back and scared her. And then she heard it, right? And she heard me coming, obviously. So I, I know I'm talking about you, come here. So I picked her up like this. I never broke eye contact. Now, I didn't know that this was actually what you're supposed to do. Like, don't break, on don't break eye contact and don't run. Like, just back away slowly, no big deal, right? And I think instinctually, I just did that. And that's so odd. I've never come in counter with a coyote before in my life. Um, and so I picked her up really quick and I didn't break eye contact, but when I started to back down from the stairs, it kind of like ran to the corner of the secret garden. I just needed to get her inside. And I went, I came inside. My mom was still on FaceTime and I was talking to my parents. I was like, it was a coyote, blah, 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 blah. Like it was, I was unwell. I had nightmares about losing her to a coyote for, no, I'm not kidding, for four or five nights. I was not okay the next day. I, it was just, I, I knew that there were coyotes in the hills. I did. I knew that they came down, you know, looking for food. I, I understood that. But until that like, you know, that situation kind of happened, it was a huge reality check for me. There was a immediate new routine and new to-do list that went through my brain. We need to fix all of the breaches in the fence because the fence is really tall. And I don't think, I know that coyotes can jump. I, I get that, but I just don't think he can jump that fence. He's getting in and they're getting in from the breaches. They were fixing the holes in the fence. I don't want her to be able to just go up there and go up in the secret garden and she's squeezing through that iron gate. So I'm gonna put a mesh and paint it black so that she just can't squeeze through so that when we're up there, we're, we're up there together. We're only out there together now. I don't just let her out because we've had so many friends that have lost their animals to coyotes. I, I don't even know what I would have done. Like she would have just been gone. I feel like she's so little that it would have just taken her. And oh my God, like, where would we, I would be like, where, where, where is she? You know, I would have frantically looked. I don't, wouldn't have even have thought to go up into the secret garden. Like they would have went in. I'm not gonna think about it too much because it is going to make me spiral into, you know, like nightmares again. And, and I, don't, I don't, I don't, I would rather not have that. We've just been really good. Like she just doesn't go out there without us now. It's just super scary. And my dog cannot be their dinner. So. That's just where we're at. That was my horror story for today. Those don't happen often, but that was really, really scary, actually. Um, we're gonna make dinner. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna edit this vlog. Kinsley, I'm so glad you weren't coyote dinner. And she, the thing is, is she didn't even know what happened. She never saw him. I picked her up and had her head like here. Like she never saw him because I didn't want her to be scared. So she has no idea, just living in, Total bliss, total living her best life bliss.